Hi, welcome to another video. Today, I will show you how to make an Arduino game with Arduino and an color OLED display. This is a classic Pong game. I am now playing it against the computer, scrolling the green pedal. When I press left button, the pedal goes high and when I press right button, the pedal goes low. The first player to reach 8 points will win the game. It is a fun project to build in just 10 to 15 minutes. You will need an Arduino Nano or Uno, an SD1331 OLED display module, two push buttons and some jumper wires. The cost of this project is around 500 rupees. You can buy the parts by finding the link to them in the description of the video below. I have made a detailed tutorial about this display. You can click on the card on the top right corner to watch that video. Let's put everything on the breadboard. First of all, connect first pin of the display to ground, second pin VCC to 3.3 volts, third pin SCL to D13 or digital 13, fourth pin SDA to digital 11, fifth pin reset to digital 9, sixth pin PC to digital 8, seventh pin CS to digital 10. Then connect the left button to D3, then the right button to D2. Now connect the other pin of the button to ground. Now let's get to our computer screen and see how to upload the code. Follow me. Open Arduino IDE, then go to Tools, Library Manager. Now search GFX and install our Adafruit GFX library. Now search SSD1331 and install Adafruit SD1331 OLED display library. Now close the window and go to files and click open and browse to your code where you have downloaded it. Now upload the code by clicking this button. At first, project displays a custom image written as Pong game. Now if we press any button, the Pong game starts. Now we can move the pedal by up and down with these two buttons. The first player to reach 8 points wins the game. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you like to see this video so far, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? It's free and it's fun. You can join my squad and don't miss my future uploads. I got this code from educate.tv. You can check their project also. The link is in the description. But playing this game on the breadboard is a little weird. So I went to easyeda.com and designed a custom PCB for it. Then I click export Gerber and click order from glcpcb.com. Now I clicked add to cart. Then I clicked check out securely and filled my order details. I choose DHL as delivery method because it is faster and reliable and also provide tracking services. I got my PCB in 6 days and when I unbox the box, I got a cool looking pen and a stick pad which will be useful for me. The 
Then I unwrap the PCB and the quality of PCB is great. Then after soldering header pins and adding component, I have to cut two extra leg of my button in order to solder it. And finally, I added button and battery back and stick them with some glue. Then I took a solar panel, checks its voltage, which was 6 volt 80 milliampere, which is enough for this battery. I soldered two wires on its terminal and then to the battery directly. And make sure do never put this project in direct sunlight for long time because it will lead to battery overcharge and the battery will get damaged. Because we didn't provide any battery protection circuit because I want to make this project really cheap. So the project is complete. If you want to understand the code, let me know in the comment section below. So thank you guys and thank you GLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon to never miss an upload.